a uh, little bit of a different um, setup today and we are going to be doing ties. Um, so welcome everybody. Uh, it is uh, June 8th and we are doing our weekly lives and each week we cover a different topic um, to help you um, style your dresses, find more life in your closet, um, and you know, make it easier to get ready for all sorts of different events and fun things that are going on in your world. Um, so today we are actually going to be talking about ties and I'm going to be attempting to do five different ties, um, tie knots. And so, um, you know, with Father's Day coming up, wedding season, prom, um, you know, and um, we've had questions from people, um, you know, about, you know, whether we have ties that are coordinating to our dresses, which we do, um, to fit all sorts of different color palettes. Um, and it's also something great to have if you are going to an event and you don't feel like wearing a dress and you want to mix it up a little bit or, um, uh, you know, you're going to a school event and like a graduation or something like that and um, you don't want to wear a dress or if you're somebody who normally wears ties um, or likes wearing ties, then you can also um, learn different ways to tie a tie. So if you have a young person in your household who is uh, graduating or something like that and they want to learn how to tie the tie themselves, I think it's a, a little bit of a... Um, a uh, Oops, we're having a little bit of trouble on the live on Instagram. So hopefully it goes through soon and um, it's starting. Um, but hi to everybody who's here already. And um, we are live on uh, on our website at hanka.com and on Facebook. And we're also on Instagram and YouTube. So wherever you like to... Uh, view your uh, videos uh, we are available um, so hopefully we'll be on TikTok soon as well so uh, make sure you go, go over there and follow us there we're hanka.dresses and um, so let's get started I'm a little bit nervous um, because I'm going to be totally honest uh, I learned how to tie these tie knots for this specific live and um, it was really interesting. It's so, so different than tying dresses. And I'm just so used to tying our convertible dresses that tying ties is a little bit different. And I am wearing a white collared shirt to show you guys. So um, the other thing I wanted to let you know is because there are so many events coming up in the summer, like uh, Father's Day, prom, graduation, uh, maybe you have, um, maybe you're in high school or in, um, some some kind of performance group um, uh, like a choir or a band and you need something to wear for those performances ties are also a great option um, for um, anyone um, available so um, so we do have these ties available they come in these boxes and they come um, like this and we have ties um, that are textured um, they um, so some of them are textured you can see a little nice texture there and then we have some ties that are um, more a satin um, shiny sheen on them and then we have reversible ties and we have bow ties as well so um, thanks for joining us and uh, we also do have a special on ties and bow ties until Father's Day June 19th and it's 20% off all ties and bow ties, all you have to do is add it to your cart and you will get the discount automatically. You don't have to remember any kind of discount code or anything like that. So if you are needing something for an event coming up, um, you know, the stock, the ties that we have in stock will ship pretty quickly and at maximum, you know, five to 10 days, um, they'll get to you. Um, we do have express shipping options. And if you are in the Toronto area, which, which is where we are based or Ontario, it comes really, really fast sometimes you know, in a couple days. So if you're in a pinch, um, you can, you can do that. So, okay, so let's get started. So, um, something when I was, uh, doing the research for this tie, uh, tying, uh, experiment was that I found out that there are, um, there have been studies, actual, um, um, I guess, uh, what are they called? Like, uh, 
scientific studies, um, research done on how many, how many ways you can tie a tie. And, um, you know, you'd be surprised. I was very surprised. The research came out on popular science and they said that there were over 170,000 different ways to tie ties. I'm only going to do five. I'm going to attempt five. Um, we're all about simplicity over here, uh, making things simple for you um, through our convertible dresses and making it easy to go to your closet and put something on and look good and feel good right away. Um, same thing with this tie tying experiment. Um, I want to show you four really simple ones. Uh, well, they're going to get successively a little bit more difficult, but also a little bit more formal. Um, and the last one will be my attempt at the Trinity knot, which is a, a sort of a more fancy knot. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So the first one that I'm going to do, and I do, I'm just going to say, I do have a reference here. There are lots of tutorials online as well. Um, and again, this is like my little experiment um, to uh, learn how to tie some ties and, and make you know, uh, you know, different uh, things that we have around in our closet, uh, more versatile and um, easy to do. So we're going to start with the simple knot. And this one is super easy. Um, and there are videos online. There's also um, um, images and pictures that are kind of like step by steps. I'm going to pop my collar up. The simple knot is um, you're actually going to put it on with the back side facing up and then you're going to use the um, thick end and you're going to pull it around and then over to the front like that and then I'm going to pull it through the neck loop and I just have a couple of fingers kind of in the middle here. Um, so that I can funnel this part of the tie through. Is it going to work? And then I'm going to pull it, pull the front. And I, you know, like I said, I am a beginner at tie tying. So I am doing this live as an experiment. Uh, thanks for joining me and uh, entertaining me as well. Um, and so you're gonna pull the front and then you're gonna pull the short end up to get it to sit. And this is the, the simple knot. And you know, you try to put the little dimple in the middle there. And th these ties are actually quite long for me because I'm a short person. Um, so, you know, you have to kind of adjust sometimes, but this one is a uh, meant to be a little bit of an asymmetrical knot. It works well with, you know, kind of um, a regular standard tie. Okay, so next one that I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of our skinny ties and do the four in hand knot. So the first one that I did was a simple knot and then now I'm going to do the four in hand knot for you. Da -da -da. This is one of our skinny ties, um, which I, I actually really like the skinny ties because um, I'm, I'm a short person and um, it just works well for me if I wanted to wear a tie. So this one, you're going to go like this, go Take the, the thicker end. I'm going to go over to the left and then back around the back and then back to the front. And I'm going to put two fingers in here so I can hold a space. And I'm going to put the tie through the fr um, from the neck loop up to the front. And then I'm going to put this part in through that space. If you have comments or tips for me, I would really appreciate it too because I'm not the greatest at this yet. Um, I have tied and wrapped hundreds of dresses, but not very many ties. Um, so you're gonna pull it tight again and then use, hold on to the skinny end and pull it up and adjust it at your collar. And again, this one is also slightly 
asymmetrical, um, but it's easy to do. And then you get this nice thing. And then this time it's a little bit more um, at the right spot that I want it to be. There we go. And this one, the Pratt, uh, this is called the Pratt Knot. I mean, sorry, the four in hand knot. I'm not doing the prep today, um, but there are lots of names and many different types of um, options. So the four in hand is one that's a very popular, um, which a lot of people do. Um, the next one that we do is called the half Windsor or the single Windsor. Um, we do have a little really cute video of um, our late founder, Jolene's daughter, doing it on our reels and TikToks. You should check it out. It's super cute. And obviously um, it is something that, you know, people can learn. And um, I think she was uh, nine at the time or, or eight when she was doing it. So, um, so you can also check that out, but I will try to do as well as her on this one. So I'm going to reuse the skinny tie for this, for this half Windsor or single Windsor. It doesn't really make sense to me why there's two names that, um, you know, that math doesn't really add up to me. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna pull it around. Um, again, if you're just joining us, thanks for coming. Today, we're, I'm doing an experiment and showing how to tie ties in different ways. Um, most of the knots will look kind of similar. They're either asymmetrical or um, more symmetrical, but they're going from uh, simple knots to more um, dramatic and more difficult to tie. And just so you know, there is a uh, promo code that we, well, actually there's no promo code. It's just a promotion that we have going on right now until Father's Day, June 19th, uh, 2022. And it is 20% off all ties and um, bow ties on our website. Um, so that discount will be automatically applied to your cart if you add it to your cart. And you know, with Father's Day coming up, prom, um, graduation, uh, lots of weddings, um, it's a great time to, to grab something. Okay, so I've taken the, um, this is the, the thin end. I've taken the, the thicker end over from the right side to the left, pulling it around. And then I'm going to take that and put it through the top of the neck loop. Uh, I had to learn some of these um, terms too um, while I was learning how to do these, these ties. And then, you know, this is the half Windsor. So I'm gonna take that over um, from the side there and then I'm going to take it over here and go across the front to make my little triangle and then through the back again into the neck loop and then through the front and I do have a reference here if you see me looking to the side I do have a little reference here for myself for the five different types of ties I'm going to pull it and from the front of the tie to um, get the knot and then I'm gonna pull the back and adjust it at my neck and pull down my shirt. And that is, that I think that's the best one I've done so far. So thank you for being here and helping me, giving me the support to be able to do this tie. Um, so that's a half Windsor or single Windsor knot. And the next one is the fourth one that I'm going to do, and that is the, uh, uh, that is going to be the full Windsor. I lost my, my reference here, so I'm just going to go back and, and find it. Um, so, so if you're just joining us right now, I am tying different uh, ties in five different ways um, from simple to more difficult and more sort of dramatic for um, or for fancier events. Um, and we do have a variety of different ties available that complement and coordinate with uh, mix and matching our dresses, uh, our convertible dresses that you can uh, check out. We do have a 20% off promotion going on and it's, um, it's uh, automatically applied at checkout, so you don't have to um, do anything like add a coupon code or anything, and that is until June 19th. Um, so check that out. I don't know what happened, but I got to the wrong um, one there. So this is another one of our 
satin ties. Again, we do have satin ties and we do have some that are textured like this. So it's like a nice um, diagonal texture on it. Um, and then we do have reversible ties. So it's actually, um, you know, a solid color on one side and a uh, striped on the other side. So we do have different options. And then we do have some bow ties as well and skinny ties, which are also um, very popular right now. Still very popular. Um, and then we've seen, you know, if you are in a bridal party, you can get, um, you know, somebody like um, the, um, the groom might want to get a, a bow tie and everybody else gets ties or, you know, you can mix and match, um, that kind of thing. Um, and of course, you know, ties are something that, um, um, all different sorts of people can wear. So it's, uh, so if you don't want to wear a dress, you can wear a tie and look nice and formal too. Um, so I'm going to take this, have my thick end going over the left side and then going through the top and then back to the left. And then I'm going to take it around to the back and then on the right side and up through the front. So I kind of get this, this tie shape, this uh, triangle shape like that. And then I'm going to take it from this side and pull it through or put, put it across the front here. And then I'm going to also just put my finger in here so that I can have a little space so that I can pull this through the top here. And so this is the full Windsor knot. It is thicker and fuller than the single or um, half Windsor knot. And I'm not great at this one at all. Um, so that is not the best knot ever. Um, I'm just going to pull it up and adjust it. So I think the trick here, um, you know, that obviously I'm not the greatest at, and this, this knot is pretty big, um, for me, like it's kind of a bulky knot, um, for me to wear. Um, so it's not really my preference, but you know, some people like it. Uh, I know my husband really likes the double, um, or full Windsor, so and he's much better at it than, than me, but he wouldn't come onto the, the live with me. So, uh, so that is a full Windsor knot. I'm gonna keep practicing that one because I'm not the greatest at it. Um, okay, last one. This one is uh, going to be fun. It's called the Trinity Knot. I also don't really know how to take ties apart, as you can tell. Um, so this is a total experiment, but, um, just wanted to pop on here and do something different today and mix things up for you. Um, and to show you that there are so many different ways to, um, you know, even, even to tie a tie again, um, I said earlier, um, I found out on popular science that there are over 170,000 different ways to tie a tie. Not that you would really want to do that, um, necessarily. Um, but, um, you know, I went from simple to more difficult. So if you are in a situation where you want to be more casual or you're in a really, really, uh, fast pinch and you need to go out and do something, or you need to teach your kid how to do a tie knot, um, and make it super easy to, for them so that they can have, um, that satisfaction of doing it themselves, then definitely it's something that you could do. So, um, this is a little bit different. This is called the Trinity Knot. And, you know, normally I am putting the thicker side of the tie on the right, on my right side, but for the Trinity Knot, I'm putting on the left side. So already I, it is a little bit different. So I'm doing that. Um, and then I'm going to take, uh, actually going to take the thin end and put it over to the left and up to through the top. And actually, I'm just going to hold on one second. I'm just going to adjust it so that the thick end is sort of at my my waist band. Um, so it's in the right position. Um, so I'm going to take the skinny end and put it over the left and then pull it through the top. And then take it to the left over here 
and then take it to the back and up to the front. And then I'm gonna pull it through the neck loop again. I can definitely make this a little bit more tight of a uh, thing. So, and then I'm gonna take it to the left again and then to the front and then up through the neck loop and then I'm gonna take it down here. And I don't wanna close this off here as I normally would because I'm gonna take this to the back and then I'm gonna take it back to the front again. And hopefully I'm getting this Trinity knot. It's not the best, but what you want to have. I'm gonna try to pull this a lot tighter. So basically I'm going to have this option here. I'm gonna leave that for now. I'm gonna pull it tighter. So what I have is this last part of the um, necktie, I'm gonna pull it to the back and put it underneath my neck here and it's gonna be hidden. Underneath my collar. And of course, this is the Trinity knot. Um, you know, you probably want to have, I didn't wanna, you know, change shirts in, in during this, this uh, whole live session. So I'm using the same shirt, but this is a shirt, uh, type of uh, uh, knot tie that you might wanna have like a, a wider collar so that you have more coverage. And it's because this is so bold, you can see the three sections of, that's why it's called the Trinity. Um, and you know, because it is a very large, a larger knot, you would want to have a little bit of a wider collar to like balance that out. Um, so that's all the five different um, tie ties that I had. So please, um, you know, if you have any questions, let me know. Again, thanks to everybody who joined and stayed on to watch um, and appreciate your support and I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful June. So if you are again looking for ties for a special event like a wedding, um, uh, as a part of a bridal party or going to a wedding, um, or you have a prom or graduation coming up, um, or, um, you know, a different type of event, um, you know, Father's Day, um, and you wanted to uh, play around with your ties and uh, show your dad what you could do, you could also do that or do, you know, like a, a, a you know, a parent and child um, matchy matchy kind of thing as well. I know a lot of mommies and daughters do the dress matching. So you can also do a daddy daughter or daddy um, son. Um, kind of um, matchy matchy kind of things too. So um, again, uh, adding, if you add ties to your cart, ties or bow ties to your cart um, before June 19th, it is 20% off, um, applied automatically at checkout. So check it out um, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye everybody.